Hey friends, my name is Mitch, and today I want to discuss with you using colored pencil on top of pastels. So I know that colored pencil and pastel is probably going to look almost exactly the same on a paper like pastel matte, but when you get into velour, which is this right here, and this is a soft furry textured paper and it's designed for making pets and animals because you get a nice free no effort softness that you wouldn't get with another paper and that's because this is made of tiny little hairs that are sticking up rather than a sandpapery effect so velour is a wonderful wonderful paper you can produce animals like this with velour and I like um, I like colored pencil because the wax based parts of the colored pencil will give you these highlight areas there. So the wax reflects the light differently than you would get using just all pastel. And so you get a really nice effect with it. Obviously you don't want to slather the entire painting in colored pencil. Um, it's just going to look too weird. But for little highlights, little things like I used it here on the highlight of the eye, so you get that reflective waxy coating. And then I also use it here in little dots, so you get that textured effect on the nose with the hairs. And then hit a little in here to give again the reflectiveness and things like that. And then one or two hairs down here just to give it the 3D look. So when you add pastels and then you just touch with colored pencil on top, you get a really, really robust 3D effect that, that makes your painting stand out. And you're working against nature with, with any pastels because people are going to put it behind glass. It's going to make it look dull. And then they're going to put it in a hallway with a light that they got from Home Depot that was on sale for $1.10. And it's it's not I mean people's houses are not galleries they're not the everything is not perfectly well lit it's not it doesn't look all that great when it's on the wall so any little thing that you can do to boost the color to boost um, the um, the lights the darks anything you can do is always helpful right so anything that you can do so that's what we have here we have a nice painting using colored pencil with pastel. So let's look at the different brands of colored pencil today. So what I want to do first is I have three areas here. I have pressing hard, pressing medium, and pressing soft. And what I want to do is I have a section down here that has no pastels base layer. And then I have a section up here that has a dark pastel base layer. So we're going to use all white pencils today and just play around with some of these. So the first pencil is a Stabilo Carbothello. This is the model 100 and it's white. And what I want to do is just start it with pastel pencils and see how they work on velour. So if I press soft and come in here like this, you can make little hairs on just the paper, but they just don't stand out all that much. And the idea here is to make something that stands out a lot without pressing hard. If you sit there and you're mashing hard all day with these things, you're going to have, you know, just hurt wrist at the end of the day. You're going to have to take more breaks. The idea is to barely press and have nice thick lines, nice lines that are going to be opaque. So if we go here on the pastel itself with the Carbothello you have like that. All right, so that's soft. So let's go over here and press medium. We're just pressing a little bit harder on the pastel. And you can get pretty decent lines with this with just the pastel pencil. So pressing medium. I mean, that's not too bad. And now we go over here and just press obscenely hard. And again, that's not too bad at all. So these are just pastel pencils. All right, so if we get another brand of pastel pencil, this is a softer brand than the Carbothello. This is Pit Pastel. And again, we come over here and press soft. We get sort of the same effect. It's slightly dumping more dust. So come over here and press medium. 
that's definitely dumping more dust especially when you press like medium hard it's not too bad we come over here and press hard and you do get pretty good coverage with just your pastel pencils all right so let's concentrate now on the colored pencil alternatives so we have um let's see start with the Derwent brands. We have two Derwent brands. We have Derwent Color Soft and Derwent Drawing. So Derwent Drawing is a super soft pencil and Derwent Drawing has been, pretty much been made famous in the art world with the Derwent Drawing Ivory Black because this thing will just dump a lot of black color anywhere you want on colored pencil, on pastels, anything. And it really dumps a lot of pigment so it's nice if you only get one pencil I must say dirt with drawing ivory black it's gonna be your best bet like by far so but obviously we're not gonna use it here because blacks might show up on black so let's try the Derwent color soft first we'll go over here and we'll press soft and that is just about as opaque as the other ones not like really a lot of difference here between this and the pastel pencils. Alright, come over here and press medium. And again, this is just about the same opacity as the Pit Pastel. So now press hard. And again, it looks like you're about at the same opacity as the Pit Pastel, but you're just dumping wax at this point. It does have a little bit more of a reflective quality because of the wax. So it is nice when you're pressing hard, but I mean, again, you really don't want to spend seven, eight hours working on a couple of paintings and pressing hard, really hard. And if you do use so much colored pencil, you might as well just use do a colored pencil portrait rather than a pastel portrait so i mean overall this isn't too bad once you start pressing hard but ideally i'd like to not press that hard so let's go over to the second brand which is going to be the derwent drawing and again the derwent drawing is so really really nice uh, the chinese white this is, derwent drawing is so really really nice with the black i had high hopes and i actually purchased quite a few colors of that just to play around with it so derwent drawing when you go in here for a soft and that's putting in a little more that's a little more opaque and i'm hard i'm literally just barely pressing it to the paper so we have this nice dump of color pressing super soft so so far again Derwent drawing Chinese white and they come in a lot of colors so it's not too bad it's not disappointing at all compared to the others what do they do with all this go away be free mr. dust all right. so go in here for medium again I'm just gonna press a little harder than when I press soft That is fairly opaque. I mean, if you put that on a drawing, something like this, if we go ahead and try it out on this. So if we come down here and we do some hairs on top of this, we've already sort of wax bloomed this. And that's one of the things you want to watch out for with colored pencils on pastels is you might wax bloom an area and now you cannot come back with pastels and put that over the area anymore. So you gotta be careful with these. Use these at last. It's like salt and pepper. When you get a meal, you don't wanna dump the whole container of salt on your meal. You just wanna use a little bit. And that's gonna be the same thing with the colored pencil. So let's continue with the Derwent drawing and go into hard. Let's press fairly hard on this. So Derwent Drawing is by far our most opaque color yet. 
And what I want to do once we're done is come back in and erase and try to erase these. And I'm interested to see what erases and what doesn't because Velour has a bad reputation about erasing anything. You come in here and you try to erase any pastel and if you can sit, sit there and it'll do just barely any of it, which makes sense, right? It's like a carpet. So let's say you're wandering over your carpet and you spill a bucket of chalk dust, okay? You know immediately that crap is never coming out 100%. No matter how many times you vacuum because it's embedded deep, deep in the carpet. And that makes sense that an eraser would not work so well. Um, the interesting to see with the different types of erasers, which works, and I'll do a different video on that because now, now I'm curious, but the, uh, it's, it's not all that easy to erase. You can't erase some of it, but again, you're, you're not going to erase 100%. So I'm interested to see the colored pencils, how they erase. So Derwent Drawing is, as expected, doing amazingly well compared with any other pastel or colored pencil so far. So we did the two Derwents. Now let's do my favorite and this is the one that I use the most in the Prismacolor. And I use it the most because Prismacolor it's available everywhere. I can go to a local art store. I don't even have to call beforehand. I know they got some Prismacolors, right? So if I run out, I know I can run out. I can go locally and get the Prismacolor that I need. Maybe not the specific color, but I mean, I can get a basic set, get my white, black, and the main colors. That's fine. So Prismacolor is also super cheap. They have rebates, they have coupons. The company's really, really interested in the getting you to buy this colored pencil. So that's why I like Prismacolor. And also has good light fastness rating. I'm not sure about some of the other light fastness ratings on these pencils. I went to some sites and I can't find a lot of info, but I know old reliable Prismacolor is what I used for this painting and is what I used for the most part. So it would be nice to dethrone Prismacolor. And so far, that looks like it could be promising on the dethrone section. So I already know how this is going to perform. It's going to perform great. So let's go for soft and just go through here and do soft. And one thing about Prismacolor as well. You'll notice that it has a splotchy, a splotchy hand down, splotchy mark. In other words, I mean, this is not exactly what it looks like, but it's like this, except small. Can't even see it on the camera. It's like this, except on a smaller scale. So I call it railroad tracking. And Prismacolor does have a tendency to railroad track the lines which is good for, let's say, the nose area here. These are really, really small hairs. If you railroad track on these little nose hairs, that's fine because they're really, really small hairs and you don't want like a long straight line down through here. It's not a long hair. The whiskers, yes. This, no, right? So it's okay for, for it to have the railroad tracking. So. That is what it looks like on there. And again, I'm barely pressing. And it performs as expected, as well as it has nice thin lines. And this is what I thought was gonna happen. So press medium on here. And again, we're in the Derwent drawing, uh, but even more a little opaque over here. That's medium, and again, that's lapping the Derwent drawing, not a problem. Prismacolor does lay down the wax, does lay down the wax. And if you go and look at Gemma Geiling's uh, Craftsy course, and I'll link that below, um, she has Prismacolors on top of suede mat board, and it looks just beautiful. Suede mat board looks just great. And her Craftsy course is only few bucks I think it was like 20 bucks and it was really interesting to see and I did a lot of great pets with that so Prismacolor is, is it has finer lines do have the railroad tracking but that's fine and you come down here and press fairly hard and it looks like we're gonna hit the Derwent drawing effect so again this is Prismacolor white 
All right, so the last colored pencil that I wanted to try was this one. This is the Stablo. It says Aqualarable, which I believe means that it cleans up with water, which that's fine. If you touch pastels with water, you're going to get a mess anyway. So, I mean, you can turn pastels into a watercolor effect, but once you're done with it, uh, any water that hits that, you're going to uh, pretty much toast it. So, that's fine. Water soluble, that's fine. This is called a uh, paper glass plastic metal. It's a super, super soft wax. It's designed to make notes on, you know, a piece of glass. It's designed to make notes on the outside of a piece of cardboard as to what's in it or whatever. And then you can wash it off with water later. So these are available on Blick. And again, most of these cost about a dollar. I think this is a dollar fifty. So it doesn't come in very many colors at all. So let's take a look at the various colors it does come in. And obviously you're not going to get the same color variety that you get with, say, Prismacolor. But, you know, that's okay. So this is supposed to be super, super soft wax. Let's go over here. This is not too sharp. Go over here and press soft. And you are getting a noticeable, and I mean noticeable, amount of color dumping compared to Prismacolor, compared to everything else. Probably double the opacity of Prismacolor. So this is really, really, really nice. This is not a bad pencil at all. So come over here. We're gonna make some whiskers, let's say, out on there. And again, I'm barely, barely pressing. I'm literally like this pressing, like that. Barely pressing. You have a nice, nice dump of color. This one wins. This is the best one. It's called like a generic marking pencil or something like that, but it's just stunning, man. That is, a that is a big dump of color. I just wish they had more colors to choose from. That would be wonderful. I, I would literally switch to this from Prismacolors if they had a bigger variety, but they don't. So um, this is Stabilo. Stabilo also makes the Carpathello pastel pencils. So just in case, we want to compare the all marking pencil. Looks beautiful. This actually is as opaque as some of these were when I pressed really hard. So again, that'll save your hands because you do this for a couple of hours. So I'm pressing medium here. Getting a nice effect. That is the equivalent of pressing hard over here. It's like it's one grade up. Pressing medium down here. And that is, that is so, so nice. And it's not really even sharp. And you're getting these nice lines through, I mean here. And velour is known to have problems with getting a long straight line, but this one has no issues at all, man. Look at that. All right, so now let's press hard. I'm not sure if that's even necessary with these things, but I'll press pretty hard, sure. All right, so you get a, just a blatant um, hair here, which is nice for whiskers. Hey, let's do whiskers with it, right? Pressing hard with just here. Get a nice, nice, nice effect. This wins by far, and it wins mainly because of this, the soft. You, again, you just don't want, because you work on computers all day, right? You come home, your, your wrist is tired, your hand could use a break. What you don't want to do is just mash the crap out of colored pencil for hours and hours when you get home, in addition to the stress that you had at work. So, this one wins by far. Wish it had more colors, but I'm extremely happy with Stabilo, Stabilo, however you pronounce it. Uh, pencil. Really, really like it. So just as a, a quick comparison before we do the erase test, I want to get a charcoal pencil. That'd be interesting, right guys? Charcoal pencil. How is a charcoal pencil? It's obviously not going to have the wax bloom or the waxiness you have here. It's just going to dump dust, but I'm curious if it dumps more dust than a pastel pencil. I was curious about that. So I picked up this one charcoal pencil. So if we go in here and we go in soft, I mean, 
if you compare that to the pastel pencil over here and the charcoal pencil, even though they're dumping dust both, you have a, a, a significant, probably double, the opacity from this. So even if you come through here, and again, I'm pressing super, super light, you do have a nice opacity from here. It, it almost is equivalent to some of the colored pencils. So I like it. So if you come over here and press medium, you're, you're getting into the opacity of a Prismacolor at this point, And all you're doing is dropping dust. So I mean, that's not too bad. So again, pressing medium. Let's see how this performs. Nice, nice, nice. And these are not expensive at all. You get a General's charcoal, you get black, you get white, and you can make some pretty nice lines. And again, it's gonna be more erasable. It's not going to wax bloom on you. Um, so come in here and press hard. Man, this, that, thing, that thing performs. That performs, especially considering you're, you're competing against the pencil pencils. Um, this thing really does perform. It does leave little charcoal hunks here and there, but whatever. So, all right, so let's do the erase test. I'm, I'm extremely interested to see how these erase. Go pick up a different eraser. Try a couple of different erasers here. So here we have your standard need, needed eraser, and then you have your sort of a plasticky eraser. So let's get the plastic eraser and just come up top here and try to erase the soft and then over here erase the medium and erase the hard so we're just erasing this top section here do the same here All right, so let's brush off the eraser dust. See how they did. Okay, so it looks like that everything erased fairly well except for the Derwent drawing. Man, that Derwent drawing did not want to go away. And as well as the glass marker, the glass metal plastic, Aquilerabo, that did not want to go away either. Pastel pencils, as you would expect, erased really well. Charcoal pencil, as you would expect, erased really well also. So it, it's pretty standard that the softer that we pressed, the better of an erasure that we got. And then when you come over here and you're just really mashing the wax into this paper, it's, it's gonna have a hard time coming off. I mean, you kind of saw that coming in, right? The harder you press, the more it's gonna stay. So that's pretty standard. When you get the kneaded eraser, I'm, I pretty much expect the exact same results. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and erase for half an hour. Needed eraser is not going to do as well as the plastic eraser, and you sort of saw that coming as well. So come in here and just hit this with the kneaded eraser, and that's, yeah, the wax, that wax is not going to come off when you do, when you press hard. the kneaded eraser and knead it a little more. Needs it, needs it. So over here again as expected, the kneaded eraser is not going to do as well as the plastic eraser. Um, and we're back to the harder you press, the less it's coming off. So um, yeah, if you press light with these colored pencils and you make a mistake, I think you can take it off. Um, but if you're going to go whole hog on it and put your body weight into it, that, that ain't coming off ever. Yeah, you can see 
it, there's nothing coming off here. Well, cool. So I hope this was informative and fun. And we got a couple of minutes. Let's try some whiskers with our new favorite pencil. A new favorite pencil. Stay below. So let's get some whiskers in here. This is almost, I mean, this is almost worn down to nothing. So we'll just leave it like that. Just do a couple of whiskers with this thing. Just come down through there. Make a whisker. It looks all right. Whisker down through here. Yeah. Whisker coming over from here. Coming out. Like that. Pretty prominent whisker. Yeah, it's not bad at all. There you go. There's a couple of whiskers. We're going to get a, get a real-time demo of this new fancy pencil. Not too bad. also wanted to try out, while we're here, I want to show you guys the Derwent drawing. Again, I'll talk about how good the black is. And if you come in here and just make like a little black whisker coming out right through here. Look how opaque that is. Look at that hair. Look how opaque that is. Just beautiful, man. And I did these whiskers with it. So I did these whiskers with it also. So really opaque, really nice. And I did pick up a, almost a full set of the different drawing because I just like it. You have like this color here so we can come in and play around with it. Make like little specks there, little specks here. Just have a little interesting color. Come in with this darker and just hit some here. Get it again just a little bit of an interesting color. I like these. I like these a lot. Again, you gotta watch for the wax bloom, man. You will wax bloom these things. But if you're just aware of that and you avoid it, then it's alright. So I'm very happy, very, very happy with the Derwent drawing pencils. Um, but for just opaqueness, obviously, we have our clear winner, and this is going to be my pencil of choice for all whiskers from now on. Derwent Drawing is going to be my pencil of choice for just getting a highlight here and there. So, again, hope this was helpful. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Hit like, subscribe, whatever. Have a nice day.